Have you always wanted to get into ham radio, but a little overwhelmed and worried about passing the test? Or maybe you're already a ham at, at some of the entry levels or intermediate level, and um, you want to get to the next level. Say you want to go from a tech to a general or a general to an extra. I've got a way you can do it. It's an easy way. We overthink things. We really do. And uh, I want to kind of give you some encouragement, some things, show you the way I did it, the way I got to extra, and uh, help you along because ham radio is really not hard. It's easy. I'm going to show you how. Stick around. start this one off by saying that this one's going to make some of the uh, what we call sad hams or gatekeepers. They're not going to like what I'm going to say in this video. You know, the only thing holding you back from becoming a ham radio operator is really yourself. And you could say the gatekeepers or you could say it's hard to pass a test, but it really isn't hard to pass a test. And you don't have to be a uh, a rocket scientist to be a ham radio operator. I've always said that the test itself doesn't make you an expert. It just gives you a license to learn. And it's all about learning after you pass the test. You know, I get a lot of flack and for what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you a little, a quick, a, a kind of a hack to uh, to pass the test and get going here. But uh, one of the things I always hear uh, a lot of these uh sad hams what they say is like yeah, these guys nowadays all they got to do is study and memorize the answers to the questions and then their hams and whatever you know I, I, that's that's really not true in, in order to pass a test you got to know the answer is true but part of knowing the answers is part of learning as well and, and it gets you there and i get so aggravated listening to these sad hams talk this garbage there's the gatekeepers you know i i, I hate it, under listen to these guys because they're usually a type of person that has to be the smartest guy in the room there's actually a syndrome for that called smartest guy in the room syndrome or there's an effect that's called the uh, dunning kruger effect you know there's a graphic it's real common and real popular in uh, psychology this graphic of the dunning kruger effect it shows these people that have a lot of confidence and think they know a lot. And it's funny, in even the scientific community, they say that where they peak at, they're at Mount Stupid. And then you come back down, and then there's the other part of the curve where people are really learning and, and moving forward. And that, that whole thing is called the slope of enlightenment. Well, I want to like uh, tell you to don't worry about the guys on Mount Stupid. And uh, I'm not an expert, but I like to think that I'm trying to climb the slope of enlightenment. So let's climb this slope of enlightenment together. Here's what I did. To pass the extra a, a while back, what I did was um, I got one book. It was a really good book. These books are uh, oh, the Gordon West books. Uh, this one's getting ready to go out. This is the 2020 to 24. He'll, he'll have a new one up. But um, Gordon West has one for, for in the USA. And I'm sorry if this is kind of directed a little more at the USA. I'm sure other countries uh, have something similar. But... In the USA, um, the technician and the uh, also the general class both have these similar books. And I just flip through these. You don't have to study this book. You don't have to memorize this book. It's just a good kind of little background to look at, kind of get yourself familiar with it. And then what I would do after that is get an app. And this is how I pass the extra. I really... With the uh, for me back when I got my general, I was a general for a long time. When I got my general, I studied that books back and forth, and it was um, a little bit of difficulty. And at the general, the tech and the general level in the USA, it's thirty five questions that you have to uh, take, and uh, you know, I stressed out on it. The extra is even tougher. It's a tougher test, fifty questions. I got forty seven out of fifty correct, and uh, I was kind of ticked that I missed the three because. I this method that I use, I get a phone. Get your phone and get a an app. One good app to start off with is uh, the um, ham radio uh, learning, different ham radio apps. There's so many of them. Look through them there um, and, and, and check those out. And some of them teach a little bit. Some of them have some really great um stuff the ham radio prep that's a really good one uh that but all of these apps have tested them have practice tested them and in those practice tests are the actual pool of questions 
uh, here in the United States that the FCC uses. So in those pool of questions, they're going to be the actual questions you're going to see on a test. And if you just, I know a lot of people say, don't take practice tests, don't take practice tests, take practice tests. I guarantee you, if you do this for 28 days, because that's what I did. I started, I, my goal was like 28 days from now, I want to be able to pass the extra. About three or four times a day, you guys get on you get on your phone. I say you guys, I'm sorry, me too. We all do. We get on our phone and um, and play, goof around, look at stuff, social media or whatever. And we play. A lot of people play games on it. So if you really take this, um, like for four weeks, 28 days, and then three, four, five times a day, whatever it is that you look at social media or play games, or whatever, take. 20 minutes and take a practice test. You're going to like, at first, first two to two and a half weeks or so, you're going to fail them. You're going to start getting a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better. Go back and look at what you missed. So you get ready for the next time you take the practice test. And that question comes along. What's going to really happen over time is you're going to find that um, you're going to start passing these tests by doing it that way. Now, where the sad hands are going to come in and say, yeah, but you're not really learning anything. Yeah, you are. You're retaining what you, the answer. You know the answer in your mind and, uh, and you know what's going on. So it's going to help you. I guarantee you, if you, if you do that, you'll, um, you, you will definitely pass the test and it takes like four weeks. So if you've never been a hand before, get a, get a book, something like this. And these are great to keep, you know, in the back. At, at, at the back, in, like this one's getting ready to expire and go out, but there's some really great reference material in them. And there's also the knowledge that you, the test you passed, the knowledge is in here. When, you, when you're operating or doing something, you can always go back to these for reference. Now, the other thing, the reason I say this is a good way to pass this test is because, look, everything in here, it's, it doesn't even pertain, the test didn't even pertain to the part of ham radio that I like. I am a voice uh, SSB HF, you know, DX guy. I want to work the world. And, uh, and that's what I like to do. Some people like digital, some people CW Morse code, some people like satellites and HF and UHF. There's just so many parts of the ham radio hobby that you can do that are there for you. And, um, and it's, you know, just, it's there for you. You know, everything in that test, you're never going to see again circuits i mean nowadays there's nothing wrong there's absolutely nothing wrong with being what they what these sad hams will call an appliance operator you know if you pass the test and you know the rules and you're sticking to the rules there's nothing wrong with buying a radio buying an antenna putting it together and making friends with people all around the world and making contacts it's a lot of fun and and there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with getting vhf or uhf little balfang radios and just being a prepper being ready for an emergency or whatever there's nothing wrong with that there's so many aspects and so many parts of ham radio that you can get into and it's not hard and you do not have to be a rocket scientist and you do not have to listen to the gatekeepers. They can sit up there on the top of Mount Stupid. You can climb the, uh, the slope of enlightenment and learn more and more after you get your license because that's really what it's all about. What I'd like you to do, I'm going to kind of hold you. I think this will kind of put you, uh, maybe hold you to uh, doing this is if you're not a ham or let's just say you're a tech or a foundation or an intermediate or a general or whatever, and you want to go to the next level, in the comments below, put in there, uh, what, what, hey, Walt, this is where I'm headed. 28 days from now, I want to be this, or I'm going to take this, I'm going to take your advice, I'm going to take this hack, and, and I'm going to do three or four practice tests a day for the next 28 days, and I'm gonna, by the end of that time, I should be able to just breeze through this, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to get my, my general. I'm going to get my new ham license. I'm going to get my extra. I'm going to do it. Put it in the comments below. And if you're not a channel subscriber, what's kind of crazy is I notice looking through the analytics of my uh, my, my comments there is uh, 62% of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe. Um, please... Be a part of the community here of non-sad sad hams. Just somebody that operates. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not a, an, a, an advertisement of a reviews and unboxings. I'm an operator, and I would like to, for you to you know subscribe and, and add some add some value to this channel. Comment on my my 
operations when I'm out there operating portable and doing things. But I, I encourage you, put it put it in the comments below what you're after, what you want to do. Don't be embarrassed. Do it. We all we all started somewhere and did something. Now I know getting back to the sad hams. If you're worried about what they think, listen, let's take over. Let's take over. Let's let the people that are on the slope of enlightenment take over this hobby because this hobby is amazing and it's awesome. And I know you, you no matter what, in every aspect of life, there, there's going to be these people. I mean, I look at, I put a video up talking about the length of wire. And I have over a thousand people like the video. And this is something you don't see. I get to see the analytics of who doesn't like it. And there's like five people that don't. Well, those five people sitting there on the top of Mount Stupid that are all worried about what's going on with you, me, and everybody else, let them stay there. Let's enjoy this hobby. Get out there. Get your license. Whatever it takes, by all means possible. If you have to memorize the answers to the question, who cares? You're just getting your license. You're getting a license to be able to learn and into it to be able to enjoy this wonderful hobby. Well, I'm sure I'm going to get some... Uh, interesting comments on this video and I'm ready for them. So if you, uh, like I said, please like and subscribe. Give me a comment what you're after, what you want to do. And then um, watch some of my other videos. If you're new and getting into ham radio, you can see what it's like for me. What I like to do, get out and operate a little portable and have some fun. Hey, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Start taking those tests, guys. 73.